Hey, and welcome to Destroy All Movies. What's up, people? I'm Richie. I'm Jim. <laughs> Carl. And Ray. Well, what's on clapping. the show today, Jim? On the show is uh, Renfield. 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 <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And no three of a kind this week. We will be discussing, uh, uh, well, tributing for right. Rubens. Mm. Kiwi. Oh. Okay. We will rest in peace. We will reminisce. Yeah. That was a, that was a sad blow. Very yeah. Sad. Yeah. But before either of those two things, we'll do a what we're watching. And so, uh, Carl, we'll start off with Carl. Carl, watching anything what? new lately? <laughs> So Oppenheimer, yeah. What? Well, well, don't don't give it away, Carl. <laughs> no, no spoilers. <laughs> There's nothing to spoil. It's like, yeah, that was the joke, Carl. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for explaining it. <laughs> That's it's beautiful. Did you see it in IMAX? No, just a pretty big screen, but not IMAX. I don't have I don't have an IMAX close, you know, like a real IMAX. There, there's an IMAX, but it's that fake IMAX where the screen rebranded isn't the, the rebranded IMAX. Yeah, say it's, it's the not screen's the not that big. You know, yeah, yeah. You can actually see the bottom of the screen. Yeah, exactly. I remember IMAX, you can't see the bottom. Right, and then the guy behind True you just one. kicks your chair a little. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, so Carl, what, what beautiful? It's undeniably. <laughs> It's undeniably good, but I didn't get much out of it because I already knew the the entire thing. Right. You could, you could, any one of us could spend 15 minutes on Wikipedia and get the same thing, but it's beautiful. Look at, yeah, it doesn't need to be on IMAX because there's no action at all. It's a lot of sitting and talking. See, that's the thing. It all leads (laughs) up to a nuclear. Oh, I guess I shouldn't explode. yeah. It all leads up to a nuclear explosion. Yes, we <laughs> we, we kind of knew that going in. Yeah, <laughs> but it's like two minutes, and the rest is just talking. I get well, it. So I, Man, I like I look a lot like the, of movies where they talk. <laughs> I, I look like the Queen. Cover. I do too. The Leprechaun. When I do that, you forget like about that. all that. Well, the forget thing about is, all. Op- yeah, forget about all. Oppenheimer. I mean, go watch it. It's. Christopher Nolan, he's a genius. Right. Well, you know, there they, there are movies where you do know what the outcome like like Titanic. Apollo like Apollo 13. I know what oh, ha- yeah. I know what happens, but I still feel Wait. tense. That's a that's a great movie, but that that's more intense. Oppenheimer, yeah, it's a sitting around and talking kind of movie. It is. Yes, I saw it two days ago. Well, I saw Fat Man and Little Boy. I enjoyed that with Paul. You Newman. know, honestly, I almost prefer that one really yeah i need to I'll, I'll revisit it how long is it by the way three hours <laughs> oh three hours fucking long i know we gotta have three hours. <laughs> yeah. and it and it takes place against like there's multiple time jumps and you have to really be paying attention to what's going on because so, christopher nolan's <clears throat> a smart director like he doesn't just tell you like no 1939 or you know, 1945. He doesn't do mm-hmm. that. You just have to so what you're telling out. me is I'm never going to see Oppenheimer. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They, they, they don't have, they don't Not sell it it's it. HBO Max. Yeah. And, and if you don't know who like Niels Bohr is and why he was important or Heisenberg or Ed, Edward Teller, like, you know, they don't really tell you too much. Like it helps to know like your physicists and why uh, they RDJ, Robert Downey Jr. plays Teller and Honest, he he does a great job, but that I thought he played Les Strauss or something like that. Strauss, I thought it was Teller, but they yeah. they were uh talking about Robert Downey Jr. like a like a possible Oscar nomination <clears throat> for him. He does He's a great good. job, but the the entire storyline could just be dropped and make it a two hour movie. Yeah, he was Louis Strauss. That's who he played. Oh, he was, and Strauss. they could have probably dropped another storyline that didn't make any sense and made it ninety minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> All right. Well, That's... anything on television or anything? Going? <clears throat> anything new? They cloned Tyrone. Oh, you saw that on on Netflix. Yes, Jamie Fox. Jamie Fox and that I mean, dude who played Finn in Star Wars. Uh, John Boyega. Yeah. yeah, John Boyega. 
he's in it. I think we should do it on the show, but I, I really enjoyed it. I don't have Netflix. I'm poor. <laughs> Figure it out. That was I think I thought it was fantastic. I really enjoyed that movie. Let's check that one out. All right. Uh, Richie, watching anything new? Probably not. You've been away. I was going to say, uh, no. All right. So, but now I just I haven't been Ray. watching shit. So. Uh, a couple things. I finished Ted Lasso season finale or series finale. And series finale, yes. Uh, I don't think I truly, mm, man, we'll like, that, that show I think is perfect. Perfect. It is like no, no, no loose ends. Like it was, per- it's all the, it literally hit all the feels in one episode and it, it was just perfect. I, like I was holding back tears. Like it was multiple times throughout the episode. Yeah. They just hit you right in like the perfect feet, warm, feel good center of your soul. Like I just really enjoyed that. Show. I want to watch it again. Yeah. I loved you, it. You almost cried. Dude, yeah, I'm not joking, man. I was tough. I was like, holy fuck, man. I cried a bunch of times. <laughs> of course you yeah, cried. I was like, Jesus. <laughs> Jim, and then, Jim um, cries because Jim cries. I, I'm almost <laughs> finished with Succession. Well, we have one well, episode left. Well, back to Lasso. The one issue I... The, not issue. The one thing I wished they explored a little more. What I thought they wrapped up Nathan and his father's yeah, storyline a little quickly. Yeah, but that's like a side character thing, you know, and he did have that moment with his dad where his dad just tells him flat yeah. out why, you know, I feel like that was sufficient enough. It doesn't need to go any deeper than that. I, the whole fight between Jamie and Roy over Keeley, that's, like, that's fucking <laughs> great. And then they just go to her, like these two idiots. I love it. I just, oh, man. The whole love, show is just perfect, man. I love when, so uh, perfect. when uh, Jamie brought uh, Roy Kent his birthday present. And he, yeah. he, and he just said, uh, I had I had the, the E turned into a U. And he goes, I love it. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> <laughs> and his niece was like, you owe me, yeah. you, owe, you owe me a pound line. Because thinking it is the same as saying yeah. it. <laughs> and, and he goes, Why is he here? Well, it's your birthday. I've invited your best friend. He's not my best friend. <laughs> <laughs> my best friend. <laughs> <laughs> I love it when they go and check out. You're gonna make Jim cry again. Yeah. Oh, who's, your best, who's your best friend? Isaac. Well, fuck he is. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I love it. Yeah, I saw it in the he background. Oh. I love I love that. Um, that's a board game, by the way. I I got it. Oh, that's cool. I got it on clearance at Walmart. <laughs> that's awesome. I love I love the name of the book, like his notes that he had at the book mm-hmm. for Trent. Uh, yeah. I love that. One one little thing I thought was hilarious, real quick, was Roy Kent. Like when he wants to be a diamond dog, you know how he just says whistle. He doesn't yeah. actually use a whistle. <laughs> like when he's when he's a do- diamond dog, they're all like making actual dog noise. He just goes woof or rough, rough. <laughs> like, he just rough. says he just says the words. Like yeah. he doesn't actually try and do it. <laughs> and I liked how how Ted brought up. You know they make plastic whistles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, plastic whistles. Oh man, that, it's He's just such a, a good character. show. And like when they brought they brought out the believe sign, they put it back together. I'm like, oh yeah. fuck! And they brought back Zava. Yeah, <laughs> Zava. Like, I that was great. <laughs> it is avocado. It's an avocado. <laughs> oh, like guacamole, dude! It's just so good. Uh, we're finishing Succession. Hopefully tonight or tomorrow. And then uh, oh, it's all up and high, right? yeah. yeah, we're finally Succession almost caught up with ends. that. And then we want to start Silo. We started the first episode, but we didn't really finish it because we wanted to finish our other shows. Yeah, I'm kind of into the season of Witcher. Yeah, I heard I've heard mixed reviews, but I'm still gonna check it out because I like sci-fi. The, uh, um, I, go ahead. I was gonna say the other one was just, uh, how to become a cult leader. I started watching that. <laughs> I saw that. I, or I, What's I that saw on? that. What's that on? So basically, it's like Netflix. a mockumentary. It's 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 a documentary about like. They had one a while ago. It's called How to Become a Tyrant. It was all about like Idi Amin and Saddam Hussein. Maybe it's mm-hmm. narrated by Peter Dinklage. And he he, he does it like it's a play-by-play book or like a like a handy guy. Like, hey, you want to become a tyrant? <laughs> Here, follow these, these like famous tyrants. And it shows you what they did and why they did it so well and kind of like flipping it, you know. And then now they do it with cult leaders. So the first one's about, you know, Charles Manson and Jim Jones and There's you know, Jim Heaven's Jones Gate too. and shit. So – the, I, it's it's like tongue in cheek. All right. Well, so I'm going to say what I'm not watching. I did not watch. Witcher. Uh, <laughs> no, uh, uh, Secret Invasion. 
Oh, right. I haven't started that either. I'm like, I've been hearing terrible things. I watched the first one. I can't. That was, that was I enough. Can't go there. The first one was enough for me, but it really? is universally hated. Yeah, like everybody is hating it. Everybody. Loki looks awesome. New season. Yeah. Loki I, looks really good. I'm I excited for that. Yeah, I watched the uh I watched the trailer online and and uh I'm excited for it. And Ashoka. I'm I'm pretty stoked for Ashoka. That looks pretty dope. Yeah. But yeah, I I'm I'm right I mean, with you, Jim. Like I'm like not like looking forward to watching it like, at all. Like everybody's been hating hating on it. Yeah, the terrible but, decisions. I mean a lot and, of like, the boring. Marvel lineup coming up. I'm just I'm eh, meh. <laughs> Other than Loki, they, they just all the best characters are done are done with. Yeah, like, exactly. Even like Guardians of the Galaxy three, I thought was like a waste of time. I just didn't really enjoy it. Mm. That that movie, come on, bro. That movie affected me, and not a in a good way. I mean, with all of the animal cruelty in it, it was really yeah. turning me off. It's yeah, uh, not for me, but uh, uh. I was telling it Carl just said, earlier that uh, I watched the crossover episode of Strange New Worlds where they cross over with the Lower Decks animated show. Oh, I haven't got to that, to that episode, but I yeah. haven't watched Lower Decks yet. So yeah. I, neither I, have I. I, I, but, I don't know. I don't know if I catch it then. Or, but it, but it, know. it's got one. I didn't know one of the voices on Lower Decks is that uh, 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 Quaid kid. Dennis Quaid kid uh, that's on the he's on the boys plays Huey. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Huey. He does a voice, so he was on a Strange New World like as a uh, live action. <laughs> I've heard that <laughs> because they they come from the future through a portal, and they're live and they're live action on instead Strange, of anime. Yeah, on Strange New World. But yeah, I was I, telling um, Carl one joke was, uh, they're telling Pike. Oh, their badge is not just a badge; it's a communicator. He goes, and they so they don't have to like flip it open. And he goes, but the flipping's the best part. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm gonna. I only watched like one episode of the Strange New Worlds. Oh, Strange one of the New White Worlds, for- hands down, is fantastic. I I I, I love the first season. I'm excited. I just wanted to wait for a bunch of them to come out, so I could yeah. kind of just boom, boom, boom. Well, I can't. I it's like I can't wait for them to come out. But they're taking a lot of chances. Like one, the crossover with the animated show. This mm-hmm. week they're doing a musical episode. <laughs> I want to see what happens late in like a show. When they yeah, run but I want to see how they do it. Like how, how if they can pull it off. Where it's where it's uh, believable within the right. context of the show. Yeah, I'm, can't wait. Yeah, other than that, uh, haven't been watching a whole lot. Richie, uh, Richie what? already said he's yeah. watching nothing. Not much. Movies. <laughs> <laughs> Renfield. Main event. Renfield. <laughs> Woo-hoo. Directed yeah. by Chris McKay again. This two in a row with Chris McKay directing. Who? What did she? Who was the? What was the last one? Remember? Uh, what did we do last episode? It was a Chris McKay film. Was it? Yeah. Oh man. No, you you mistake for Adam McKay. Yeah, because I said it's Chris McKay. So this is also Chris McKay. Neither uh. of the two movies was Adam McKay. Hey man, dude's working. Right on, dude. <laughs> mm-hmm. Uh it was uh Dungeons and Dragons. Oh, that's right. The same that guy did Renfield? Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> All right. Probably at the same time. <laughs> that, would, that would make more sense. <laughs> no. But you had to focus on one. This of course <sighs> starred Nicholas Holt, Nicholas Cage. <laughs> hey, A lot Nick, of Nicholas. Uh Aquafina. And uh, Ben Schwartz. And, of course, uh, Richie loved it because it was 93 minutes of running time. (laughs) That was including uh, opening and closing credits. That's how you do it, kids. I'll watch it again. And it's the story of, uh, you know, uh, Renfield uh, uh, protecting. uh, He does a voiceover where he talks about, you know, it's funny. This reminded me of that movie R. Yes, I was just going to say that. The, uh, yes. Also starring Nicholas Holt, where he yeah. narrates the movie. Yes. 
That's the zombie movie where he plays a zombie. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I saw that. Yeah, Richie uh, likes it, liked his one line in that, too, in the <laughs> yes. opening. I guess, uh, he said, uh, I'm wearing a hoodie, so obviously I'm unemployed. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> look, at me. look at me. I'm still wearing that hoodie, so obviously I was unemployed. <laughs> Don't catch me in the winter. I'll, I'll be rocking a hoodie all. <laughs> Yeah, but that's all you wear in the winter. Yeah, Carl. Like, I know people who wear hoodies all the time. Oh, no. No, no. Yeah. So, so the story ahead, of Renfield, the uh, assistant uh, to Dracula, Nicolas Cage's Dracula, uh, and it basically is him, gives a little narration of how uh, he protects Dracula over the years, but it's getting harder to uh, take care of him since it's modern day times and find uh, fresh uh, blood for him to uh, consume. So he goes to uh, a, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, abusive relationship uh, group. <laughs> and his plan is to get all the abusive partners of the people in the group and feed them to Dracula. <laughs> That's a great concept. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of stuff going on with... Uh, uh, the police and organized crime and, and, uh, and what's his name, um, uh, is in it. Who? One of my favorite fucking characters, uh, John Leguizamo, no. John Ralphio. Who? What's his oh, name? Oh, Ben Schwartz. <laughs> yeah. That's what I was saying. Yeah. yeah. From, uh, his character that he played in, uh, Parks and Rec, John Ralphio. Yeah. Oh, I <laughs> Ben Schwartz. <laughs> Never uh, watched. Jim Parks did mention that. Do you never watch Parks and Rec? <laughs> never. Dude, that shit is fucking funny. Ron Swanson Good is my show. fucking. Uh, he, he he's my spirit animal. Yeah. Uh, he started as <laughs> Jean Raphael Saperstein. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> Jean Raphael. He's fucking great. He's really funny in that show. Yeah. So he plays the mob boss's son. Right. And of course, Renfield has superpowers by eating bugs. It gives him. Uh, uh, Dracula strength, and it's all about the, uh, that and abusive relationships and mob killing. So, uh, laugh riot. Uh, <laughs> I liked it. I w- I'll watch it again, especially that it's 90 minutes. My, f- I would say, my favorite part is when they really lean into the abusive relationship part when he creates his own apartment. And Dracula yeah. shows up, and, <laughs> and Nicholas Cage <laughs> plays that so well. And it's like, oh, very nice. Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's caging. Yeah, so much caging in this movie. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, was, he was probably the best part of the whole movie. Oh yeah, the only part. That yeah, yeah, the only good part, part in the whole movie. I don't know. I liked it. <laughs> I'm I'm Carl in this one. I found a lot of good oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There you go. See, yeah, I found my inner Carl. Do is make a ninety-minute movie, and and Richie's <laughs> Richie's fine with it. That's Mixing what I mean. Some Nicolas Cage. It it it, it fucking crazy. it it could have went completely off the rails and became you know just overly boring and stupid. But right oh, at the yeah. point where it was just getting bad, they ended it. It was great. <laughs> mm-hmm. Another five minutes. It would have been terrible, but this was good. <laughs> Another five minutes. Yeah. It was perfectly timed. I I enjoyed it. I really, I, I love me some Nicolas Cage, man. Yeah. And he just went off the rails, which is awesome. This Not was no the worse. first time he's played a vampire. Either. Yeah. This was uh, yeah, no worse too. than uh, him in the uh, fucking Pablo Pascal movie. Dude, that movie. I love that movie. I kind of that movie is fantastic. <laughs> I love that. There's no worse than that. Oh, Shut come up. on, worse than that. Fuck I love that. I want, I, want, I want another one of those. I don't know if it was great. Him it was Harvey. good, but Nick, Nick and Harvey. I'd watch the shit. <laughs> yeah, out that of was it. that was a lot of fun. That was a fun movie. Yeah, shut the fuck up, Rich. <laughs> <laughs> this one you like. The other one, which uh, was, yeah, I mean, I like that one too. Flick. I, I like that one too, but like, the, like. You know, it's just too long for Richie. Yeah. <laughs> I'm saying, like, they cut five, ten minutes out of it. Movies get way better. Got a much faster <laughs> running than me. 
even in some yeah. footwear. <laughs> <laughs> Were you looking for crosshairs? No, I was asking no, no, for your just, general impression just, of the movie. Yeah, yeah, I said it's it's all right. I'm I'm generally sick of vampires. <laughs> I, I've right. had zombies, zombies, yeah, like, vampires are overdone. What, once uh, the Twilight movies ended, Carl said, "You guys, I, love, I never saw one th- of them. This is my fr- the uh, none will compare to." Uh, <laughs> I didn't see <laughs> any of those. The, the only thing about this movie that I fucking couldn't stand is the cop. That broad Aquafina. is, yeah, she is so unfunny. Oh, like, I could not okay. wait. She's not okay. She, she I was couldn't funny wait. in, uh, no. what was that movie? I, lo- I loved her. And I, and I, lo- I liked her in yeah. uh, the Ten Rings movie. She was horrible in that. She wasn't horrible in that. Yeah. She was okay, but she was funny in Jumanji where she had to play, like, you know, Danny DeVito. <laughs> Because Danny DeVito's in her body or some shit like that. I thought that was really funny. She's going to try to be funny. She's not funny. She's going to say something stupid. So no fan of Aquafina. <laughs> no. Richie. She's been funny. No, she's never been funny. To Richie. Okay. Ever. To Richie. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Nicholas Holt, of course, I think is always good in anything. He's Serviceable. Doing. Serviceable. Yeah, serviceable. Oh, he's, I agree with that. he's never been great. Who it gets it? Gets Nicholas it Holt. Movie. Yeah, I have never seen anything where I saw I didn't like him in. Yeah, serviceable. Uh, uh, but uh, you never uh, X Men First Class. Uh, that was the best <laughs> he's ever been. Uh, R Mad Max. Mad Max. Mad is really Max good. Fury Road. That's he's his good. Best. Mad Max. I, I didn't see best. him where he played. Uh, what uh, a glorious day to die! I didn't oh, see I didn't see Tolkien where he played J.R.R. Tolkien. I, I oh, didn't no. see that. Oh, one. Fuck! I will never watch it. <laughs> Why? <laughs> it just sounds terrible. <laughs> I will never watch that movie. Well, it's all Christian and stuff. What? I can't never wait mind. to watch it. Is it ninety? Is it ninety-two minutes? No, I'll it's watch probably it. Probably more than that. Then I'm not watching. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to like uh, uh, Google movies that just like 90 minute movies and that's all I'm going to watch or like I said I'll watch any movie up to 90 minutes and then I'm done watching it <laughs> <laughs> like I'd have to leave halfway through Oppenheimer I'm like I get it they blow up fucking they, they detonate the bomb I, so, I wait, Jack has 4.5 wait to, yeah Wait till it hits max and just watch it in two parts. Now that's still that's still a problem. There's a, the only the only like movie that I can watch marathon style like that are G- the Godfathers. Like they're they're yes. that good. Where you uh, say that every time, yes. And but like Oppenheimer, I get it. And when, it's probably a great movie, but I uh, I know the ending. I've never seen it, but I know the ending. And uh, when you see uh, when we do. Uh, Mission Impossible: Dead Reckoning. You, uh, that's a, that's, that's an over two hour movie. Oh, yeah, a, I'm, I'll yeah. watch ninety it's minutes of it. I'm, I'm reading this top movies under ninety minutes: Night at the Roxbury, This Is Spinal Tap, Night Perfect. Before mm-hmm. Christmas, so, Borat, Black Dynamite, Pie, mm-hmm. all great Run movies. Run. Evil whoa, Dead. Whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> 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 all all great great movies. Movies. Toy Story. The, the every sing, every every right. single one of that he said which, it was a hit. Which was the first one you mentioned? Oh. Night at the Roxbury. Night at the Roxbury. Right there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 90 minutes of fun. <laughs> the Wicker Man. <laughs> 90 minutes of- Zombieland, the original Zombieland. The Zombieland, yeah, there you go. Zombieland, double tap. That's right. He, uh, the Lion King, uh, Eraserhead. See, Eraserhead, Stand- man. Stand By Me. That's under 90 minutes. The oh, Rump. I watch Stand By Me all the time. No, Borat. movies used to only be 90 minutes. I know. <laughs> Till some asshole made an epic. Well, and there were a lot of like, epics. There are a lot of epics. There's the, like yeah, the Ben Hur is a fucking long Ben Hur, uh, 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 what you call it? The Bridge Too Gone Far. Gone with the Wind. Uh, there's plenty of long movies. If you do it right, you don't mind the length. <laughs> yeah, but the problem is there hasn't been a movie that good where you're like, wow. The problem is, didn't feel like three hours. 
Lawrence of Arabia. <laughs> That's a good one. I mean, it's a little slow. Lawrence, yeah. Lawrence of Arabia. How how many? How <laughs> long was British how long guy. was uh, how long was Violent Night? I'm sure it was not two I hours. Well, well, Ray's in front of the Google machine, so he he can find out in seconds. Um, an hour fifty two minutes. Yeah, see what I'm talking about? Yeah, oh. it's not near ninety. Yeah, but it, it, no. The it problem was, now is. The three hour movies that we're getting, the over two hour to three hour movies we're getting. They're purposely extending it. Yeah. Do not deserve that length. Right. No. Their subject matter, it feels like it's stretched to that yeah. length. Like Lord it's of the Rings is a classic, the- like over three hour movie where it, like you want more of it. You know, you want yeah. more time. That could have, that could have been a, a 45 minute movie. Lord of the Rings. <laughs> Look, for, look, yeah, <laughs> yeah. They they just kill a Sildor at the beginning. Just that could have been <laughs> throwing Lord of the Ring back in. I remember when we watched uh, because we watched Lord of the Ring. We had a friend who kept saying, uh, "You should watch Lord of the Rings," <laughs> and finally uh, we watched it. And we were sitting there, and when Richie and I lived together, we were sitting there watching it. And at the end. And Richie goes, uh, you said something like, son of a bitch. Now I got to watch the next one. <laughs> it's, well, yeah, because that's, I'm like, I got to It's good. They are good. They're, they're perfect. You know, they're like perfect. The length them. also. I love the extended editions of all of yeah. them. Yeah. They're, they're not doing themselves favors by making three hour movies. No. You need you need asses and seats and turn it around. Yeah, exactly. So you need more show popcorn and shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So uh, you know, I- uh, Kevin Smith was talking about because he owns a movie theater oh. now. He was talking Smart Castle. About, yeah. Yeah. He was talking about how they how they clean the movie theater in between shows. Ooh, I don't even want to. They don't know. do that anymore, man. The theater I went to was terrible. <laughs> well, it used to be like one of the best. He says in between shows, up. they use leaf blowers. Yeah. They blow it all <laughs> to, yeah, they blow it all to blow the all front to the of front. the theater and then, then they sweep, sweep it all up. And then they sweep it all up. Genius. Yeah. <laughs> that's genius. So yeah. that's okay. what Richie intentionally spills his popcorn. <laughs> right. I think that's where Richie cleans up his house, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Honey, I need the blower. <laughs> yeah. No, I I still I haven't. I was just t- telling my wife I was like, we haven't been to the movie theater since Violent Night. Oh, that's a Christmas. I can't believe that's yeah. the one you got. And and I did and I did spill popcorn so I can go get more. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh look, it I, fell. <laughs> in Oppenheimer, my friend got the small popcorn, and you don't get a refill on that one, right? I I went out and was. This teenage girl, I'm like, can I get a refill? She's like, only on the big ones. I'm like, dude, that's like two cents worth of popcorn. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, oh. she she filled it up and was like, just don't tell my boss. I'm like, I ain't gonna tell anybody. Yo, yeah, I'm gonna walk around. <laughs> and say, hey, I got free popcorn. I got, I got free popcorn. <laughs> Go ahead. You got a lot of you got a lot of fighting. You got a lot of kung fu fighting. Yeah, and you got a lot of uh, killing and uh, vampire so stuff. How did uh, so? Does just real quick? How does uh, so? Renfield gets his power by eating bugs, right? Yeah, but Dracula gave him that power, right? Yeah, because I think he like drank his blood. He like drank Dracula's blood, right? Uh, right. Yeah. So and then if he eats bugs, he'll you know become uh, yeah. They're like uh, right like boosters, right? He'll he'll get all you it's know. Like, Super big strength. Yeah, he like pops a couple like uh, methamphetamine pills. <laughs> yeah, and, and you know, Dracula uh, teamed up with the mobsters. Renfield and Aquafina have to fight it out. Yeah, that whole that whole cop dad storyline was annoying. <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. it's always annoying. It is because it's the same thing with cops. Yeah. It was my my dad was a, a lawyer. Right. Right. There's always or, like no, my she dad was in the was FBI. A cop. She was in the FBI. That's what it was, or something. She right. Or my dad yeah. was a pilot. Yeah, like like uh, uh like Ma- like uh, Top Gun. Uh, oh, yeah. your name, uh, your name's not uh, uh, that great here. You know, 
Right. But, no, I think it's actually Mitchell, pretty annoying. There's probably a million Mitchells. Yeah. <laughs> so exactly. Like, Honestly, like on the side of like of like women and stuff, it's gonna sound weird, but. I think it's kind of annoying and patronizing. It's like the only reason she likes wants to be a cop is because her dad was a cop. You know, it's right. like she can't just be a strong lady cop on her own. She has to, right. you know, they, they, they write these characters. Like there's a lot of like smart, strong women, but it's because her dad did it or looking for their dad. Right. It's just all like a daddy issue thing. It's a weird fucking Hollywood oh. trope. It's an annoying <laughs> yeah. Hollywood trope. It's lazy yep. writing. Uh, you're not wrong. And that was quite a microaggression. You you just pulled <laughs> out of your. Uh, uh, <laughs> no, but it is just lazy. She writing. can't be a strong lady cop. She no, not, I know, but she I mean, I hate be a strong I cop on her own. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's it does sound pretty like I don't know. It's like I'm not. Like, Ray, you're not wrong, wrong buddy. Feminist, so. No, it's it's just lazy fucking writing because you look like Ellen Ripley is like a badass, right? Not it's not because of any other reason than she's a fucking badass. She is. Or, yeah, you know, shit like that. Not because, you know, she's it's because of her dad. Like, why can't she just do it? Or like, uh, Clarice Starling, right? Like, badass fucking cop lady, right? Not because her dad made her become part of the FBI, right? Wow. That's right. lazy, right? And uh, uh, salt. It's lady mo- lazy mo- motivation for that character. Did salt. you say salt? Salt. Yeah, <laughs> salt. That Angelina Jolie was, was a badass. That was a <laughs> terrible movie. <laughs> I know. Because of her daddy. <laughs> She's better than Wanted. <laughs> curving Salt. bullets and stuff. And that's a Salt. that's a movie I haven't thought about forever. It's wanted where you're curving the bullets. Like that was like a thing for a while. Like gangster flinging b- bullets. Like yeah. do that stupid shit no more in movies. Thank God. Thank God, right? Yeah. yeah like what was it's okay. The dumb trend. All trying to like find the next Matrix thing with bullets what can we do well, remember that, uh, that uh they slowed what, it down what was that uh that shitty movie with uh, uh lord of the rings no 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 <laughs> <laughs> no no it, return it of the had, king uh, batman in it. uh <laughs> what uh christian bale where he played like uh he played batman like returns? a futuristic cop who had no emotion. Equi- oh. Equilibrium. Oh, equilibrium. Uh, they, yeah, yeah, yeah. they had a special kind uh, of uh, martial honestly, arts. I have gun kata. Gun kata. Gun kata. Gun kata. <laughs> honestly, I fucking loved equilibrium. I still dig equilibrium. That was so cool. When he throws like the, the gun clips out, because he knows he's got to reload by that point by yeah. shooting, and he's just doing like cartwheels and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I thought that was cool. I well, thought that was way cool. Yeah, and he felt and he fought like Robert the Bruce at the end and Yeah, Robert the Bruce. Yeah, that dude. Yeah, but that was that that was stolen from It was Robert the Bruce. But that was stolen from uh That's you know, the, hilarious. The gun reloading was stolen from Hit Girl, so Oh, no, really? they did. No, they did that in Wolverine Origins too with uh, oh, with, with what's his face? Uh there was a guy with guns in that one who was like a real good shot. Oh yeah. And, oh, like and he reloads in the like he threw the clips. Dead shot. Th- yeah, throw not dead shot, uh-huh. but he was something. Threw the clips in the air and then caught uh, it, and then caught him in the gun, both guns and stuff. Yeah, I've seen that a number of times. Uh-huh. Yeah, he like th- I remember he throws those clips out and they're like standing upright on the ground and he like oh yeah that's does right a cartwheel into them yeah. Yeah. and that's how we yeah. that's those. right like, that's they're right. like already <laughs> out there waiting for him yeah it's pretty yeah. sweet that was like I mean the whole storyline was kind of a little little dumb you know it's like you know he has emotions now he's finally getting emotions by not taking his pills but I thought the gun kata was kind of cool but that was also early two thousands and I was still in high school I think <laughs> and he slices off the face. Mm. Of the bad guy. Yeah. Notice pretty, we're talking about cool. everything but but uh, Renfield. <laughs> Renfield. <laughs> Renfield Two crossers. Besides being 93 minutes, <laughs> we'll never have a sequel. <laughs> no. <laughs> because Bummer. it had a sixty-five million dollar budget and made twenty-six point seven million dollars. What? Sixty five wow. million? Yeah. Well, they gotta wow. pay Nick Cage something. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that? That's the whole reason he's doing all these crazy ass movies. He needs money. Like man owns a dinosaur skeleton and like a, a Rolls Royce Phantom, like one of like three ever made. Some shit like that. Wow. He just Six, spends money. That like movie is not around. sixty-five million. <laughs> and it uh, right. out of two hundred and ninety-one critics, fifty-eight percent of them gave it positive reviews. 
There you go. That's surprising. 58%. We're moving up. <laughs> <laughs> Which is better than, better than, uh, it's not. 57%. It's better <laughs> It is better than 57. Mathematically, that's true. It's, yeah. it's, it's one, better. one better. It's one better. <laughs> Did you stop taking your, uh, your 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 emotion suppression pills and you're doing cool mathematics? Look at you. It's one better. <laughs> this goes to 11. All right. So Carl says two. <laughs> two. I'm going to go next yeah. time. I agree with Carl, too. Carl. I was not a big fan of this movie. All right. I, I w- the reason why I was not a big fan of this movie is because I was expecting it to be better. Because going oh. in, I thought I would love this movie. Right, I'm saying, right. saying Nicolas Cage is Dracula. Sign me up. Right, and, right. You know, you know he's going to give the most eccentric performance ever. And mm-hmm. he did. Yeah, he gave he, he gave two crosshairs worth. Yeah, and the rest is straight. <laughs> exactly <laughs> two crosshairs worth. True. Wow. All right, Ray. What do you give it? So, I mean, just my thoughts on the movie too. Um, yeah, I went in with low hopes. To be honest, like I saw the preview and I was like, ah, this looks formulaic. This looks like something I've seen before. You know, I feel like I, I'm already getting the trope of the, you know, he's going to rebel against Dracula. Even before the movie came out, I was looking at it. Um, and his superpowers are just kind of like that. You know, he's an ultimate action hero. Now he can, he's like Spider-Man. He can do anything. Dude, some um, of those fight scenes with his, when he goes into Renfield power, that shit was. It's cool because they make it hyper violent. And I'm right. like, okay, that when, that's awesome. Like that's more fun. When he, when he, when uh, he's fighting with the, the arms. Yeah, when he yeah. kicked the dude in the chest and ripped his arms off and then fought with his arms. Yeah. Or like when they're getting chased around the apartment complex and he's jumping down and she's like yeah. seeing him like fuck people. Yeah, that was cool. Like it was hyper violent. I dug yeah. that. And honestly, Nick Cage just knocked it out of the park for me. Like I thought that was – he's so good because he just really just goes on. And honestly, I thought he was genuinely like scary and creepy. Yeah. Like, I thought he did a really good job as Dracula. And uh, especially at the beginning when you see him like with all the blood bags – you know, yeah. it's like a tree of blood bags is uh-huh. dripping into him. And he's like still like, uh, like hunched over and stuff. Cool. Um, I thought it was an interesting that he linked up with the mob, but it made sense. But I did love it when he went to his apartment and he sees all the stuff he's bought. And he's like, <laughs> it's like just like <laughs> going a lot. <laughs> that, was just, that was really funny. I actually give it a three, three crosshairs because I, I, I thought. Well, that's one better. I would never that's watch it again. That's one better. And, uh, yeah, it's one better. <laughs> the only reason, because I'm giving it two crosshairs to Nick Cage, and then one just because of the hyper violent fight scenes. But otherwise, I'd probably never watch it again. And yeah, okay. Mm-hmm. I tell you what, my favorite scene was uh, when he starts seeing everything that Dracula requested. <laughs> when there's the, yeah, yeah. the table full of nuns, and then the bus full of cheerleaders. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. At the beginning. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Gotta be kidding me. <laughs> That was pretty good. Well, yeah. Richie, your crosshair. Oh, this movie was 90 minutes of pure enjoyment uh, <laughs> for me. I got to say, uh, I'm going to go three and a half. <gasps> wow. That's a half <laughs> one better. <laughs> and here's why. Wow. It fucking made me la- like, I knew it was going to be terrible. I like, uh, it reminded me of Cocaine Bear with the camp. You know what I mean? Like, well, yeah. Okay. It, uh, I, other than the the cop uh, end of it, like if she wasn't in it and they didn't have that cop story, this would have been even funnier because it okay. was stu- it was stupid. It was meant to be stupid. I thought Nick yeah. Cage did a good job as Dracula. I love the uh, the the storyline with the uh, you know the uh, going for help with the with you know the AA style. Uh, that's always funny. Yeah, like the the support group. Yeah, the support that was really group. Like, yeah. It was very Fight Clubish. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah, so I thought all, all that was great. I love the you know, and it made sense that too. Dracula like, would hook up with uh, a local mafia. I was like, I get it. I'm I'm down with it. John Ralphio fucking made me laugh because he's so stupid. Uh, <laughs> but other than the other than uh, what what's her name there. Uh, Aquafina. Yes, we get it. Aquafina. Like Aquafina. Yeah. Uh, 
<laughs> I, 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 I'd watch it again. Like, but fast forward over her parts. Nice. Right so, three and a half. There you three go. Three and a half. All right. 90 minutes of pure fun. Actually, I, I, <laughs> 78 I wish, minutes. I wish I saw some of those 90. <laughs> <laughs> well, there, there were parts I fucking laughed out loud. Like, I mean, I was talking to Chris about it. And I told him, he, uh, I said, hey, man, we did Renfield. He was like, please tell me you hated that movie. I said, I said dude, I laughed out loud a couple of times. I, I liked it. He goes, did you like it better than Dracula Den Lemon? I said, of course. He said, it was, it was fucking oh, an on. Oscar winner. I told him, I said, it was an Oscar winner compared to that movie. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot better than that. <laughs> yeah. And he was like, oh, he's like, fuck you, man. I'm like, That's no, dude. nostalgia, bro. Yeah. Can't step was, nostalgia. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, there you go. Renfield. I dig it. So All that's right. the that's the quote on the movie poster. <laughs> there you go. Right. Nine, you. Ninety minutes of pure fun. <laughs> from yeah. Destroy all movie. Yep. Actually, well, do you know what is on their poster? It uh, shows Nicolas Cage uh, with his hands on uh, Nicholas Holt's shoulders, and it says, "Sucks to be him." <laughs> <laughs> it's not bad. That's funny. I'd wear. I'd, I'd get that on. A sh- I'd, I'd wear that shirt. Yeah, it's not bad at all. Yeah, that's fucking funny. Yeah. So I thought the concept was funnier than the execution. That's uh, yeah. That's all right. Yeah. Yeah. All right. But Nick Cage like saved the movie. If it was anybody yeah. other than Nick Cage, I would. Definitely. I could never watched it. Yeah. He's the only one who could pull that off. Like, that's yeah, was the best part. Well, that's yeah. what I loved about it. It was campy. It was stupid. It was fucking Nick Cage. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's talk about. Uh, All right, well, it's we say goodbye to Renfield, and we also say goodbye to Paul Rubens, uh, oh, who died recently. Uh, he was sick for a while, but never publicized yeah. it at all. So everyone was a little, uh, you know, shocked that when he died. Yeah, yeah, but and he was he was number three, right? He was yeah, the third. He was the third. Yeah, so. It was the third, third, uh, the, third the fact that he was 70 famous. makes me feel so old. Yeah. And oh. he didn't look it. He did not no. look it at no. all. And, uh, of course the first time we ever saw Paul Rubens was on that HBO special, uh, Pee Wee's Playhouse, uh, Pee-wee's Playhouse. Pee-wee's Playhouse on HBO before he had ever had a show or the movie. Yeah, it was like a dirty comedy was for adults, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It was it was because it, it, it had a lot of adult humor in it. Yeah, yeah, but he treated the audience like they were children in a children's show, but it was right, like right. dirty humor. Yeah, yeah. And and that's true. where you learn, you know, yeah. Captain Carl was on it. Uh, it was uh, Lawrence Fishburne, right? No, no, Phil no, Hartman. no, that he was on the TV show. Lawrence on the Fishburne. TV show, Fishburne was yeah. on the show. Yeah, yeah no, yeah. it was uh, Phil Hartman. Yeah. Uh, the Hard woman man. who played Miss Yvonne, uh, mail, a guy called Mama, Mailman Mike, <laughs> who Man used Mike. to steal all the mail. Oh. Uh, <laughs> goes, These see, are perishable. Look, for, this, this is perishable. Is perishable. This, that means food. That means food. food. Mmm, cookies. <laughs> hey, Mama Mike, you're not supposed to be eating that. Come on, Pee Wee, right. have a cookie. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, Jombie. Yeah, who had Jambi. the best joke when Jambi gets delivered his hand gets delivered hands? Yes, and Jambi's going cool Caucasian, and yes. then he goes, <laughs> "Well, I'll see you later, Pee Wee. There's something I've been waiting to do for a long time." <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it is so funny. Just big head in a box. Yeah. yeah. I do remember the TV show as a kid, like watching growing up with Pee Wee Herman, watching all the movies, Pee Wee being adventure. Yeah. Yes. Of you course. Pee Wee's Pee-wee big and circus was such a huge whatever. hit. I wanted that bike, dude. It's I remember movie. growing up wanting that fucking red bike <laughs> it, so bad. Wow. Wanted it. That, big top Pee Wee, the one where he's in the circus. That was the other one. Yeah. With the Pippa La Poopala brothers. Yeah. The Pippa La Poopala. <laughs> 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 yeah, the three uh, brothers are all like after the yeah. other chick, and then he yeah, ends up yeah. taking the chick. <laughs> and with this talking pig, he had a talking pig. Yeah. Hey, Pee Wee. <laughs> <laughs> no, but the whole like Pee Wee's Big Adventure is a perfect. Comedy. It's great. Yeah, I really want to. I'm thinking about watching it here this week. Kind of get all nostalgic. 
But dude, that bike, dude, I still wanted that bike so fucking bad. He had like a speaker on it, dude. It could do anything. It was like a perfect, like his whole house. It was like a big, uh, uh, what's, what's the name of the gold, the cereal. Goldberg? Cereal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he had a, his whole house was a Rube Goldberg or whatever. Yeah. You know, like a practical yeah. mousetrap thing to make yeah. the smallest things. I loved it. I love. I wanted that house. Just like, him getting out of bed and that. putting on the bunny slippers and then making <laughs> yeah. them hop to the carrot. <laughs> <laughs> the dude was funny as shit. He's so yeah. good. He's so clever. He was so good, man. Ah, uh, so sad, dude. Do you have His... something to say, Amazing Larry? <laughs> That's Man, such a like big, like uh, big adventure is also Danny Elfman and yeah uh, and uh, uh Tim Burton Tim Burton Tim Burton yeah Tim yeah Burton. wow their first movie yeah. wow that's insane I forgot so it was I'll, Tim Burton I was movie. telling uh, I was telling my wife about uh, you know what we were doing I said yeah we're going to talk about uh, Pee Wee but uh, I said he he did this uh, I said when he was in Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I said, he was. I said, you know, it'll tie in with the show. I said, because yep. his death scene the best. was so fucking funny. The best death vampire ever. <laughs> I, and I, and she ever. was like, what do you, she goes, what do you mean? Like, like Lost Boys? Like, I said, no, no, no. no. <laughs> like old school comedy, like it Hilarious. took forever for him to die. And he's like you kicking know? the wall. It's like, uh, uh, uh. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> kicking the wall, banging on and then, the And then uh, they fade away. Do you think it's done? Then he comes back and he sits back up. He's like, uh, eh. Uh, and then <laughs> yeah i said it was so <laughs> fucking Die funny already. yeah it was so fucking funny and i think one of his best roles was, was the man? spleen oh in spleen. Mystery yeah, yeah, yep, you're honest oh, yeah. yep, yep. Spleen. one of the best roles man <laughs> what oh, about God. blow oh blow was great too yeah he was, yeah, he was great he was really good in blow he was really good in blow yeah. He who killed it really forever is. would smelt it. <laughs> <laughs> Accuracy within five feet. Yeah. Uh, it's just, and then going from that adult themed HBO special to actually making a children's show out of it. Yeah. That yeah. was it, ultra su- successful. Could enjoy. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That adult and it was like all claymation in the beginning. Yeah. It, intro. It was a fun show. I remember watching it when I was a kid, man. Like I grew up watching that. It was a lot you know, of fun. Watching he, I, I, I found it. out, uh, you know, you know, clips have been coming out of the woodwork now that he, oh boy. that he died. So he was talking about, he, he was on the, uh, the dating game three oh, times. Oh, no kidding. <laughs> really? As oh, Pee Wee. No. <laughs> That's where he That's first fucking started. Pee Wee is. He, he, he had that character. Great. He said there was no job, you know, he goes, you know, you look through the paper and the, the cattle call style, you know, uh, <laughs> actors, you know, they're looking for the, he goes, I just put on my peewee suit and went down. He goes, I lost He goes, I finally won a date after like, <laughs> he goes, I lost twice and won once, but he goes as peewee Herman. That's so Tim funny. Dude. probably saw that and was like. I'm gonna make a movie with that dude. Well, he said he said when he walked in, you know how he goes because they pick, you know, you know, normally like when you go on a game show, if you're like like eccentric or nuts, like you're gonna get on, like that's what they want, right? So he goes when I walked in, one of the producers just looked and they were like, just yes, just get him, yes, <laughs> like hundred yeah, percent, yes. What He's about one his, of them. Well, what I about would- his? voice acting in flight of the navigator oh, yeah, that's well, right oh. he he did the, he was the uh, robot he, yeah he did he the, the ship the ship's ah. uh, voice with, yeah. yeah and star tours and just yeah. yeah oh wow yeah. he was in dunstan checks in he was the bad guy <laughs> with the monkey oh yeah <laughs> the mon- that was a weird movie I, i'm just looking at all his movies i'm not pulling this out of my butt and, i'm looking at my and what feet. was interesting <laughs> is they said when he started doing when he started doing the children's show, in fact, I'm reading a little over here. He was a heavy smoker, but he would never let a kid That's right. see him at see a him character smoking. or see him smoking or That's doing cool. anything that a peewee would not do. Right. Like he would never break character. He would stay in character That's all cool. the time when he was peewee. 
Yeah, other than Beijing that one incident he had in the, <laughs> in the porno theater getting caught, but I mean, right. he was in a porno theater. Well, he wasn't he wasn't Pee Wee then. He was just no, jerking was, off as Paul Rubin. Oh well, yeah, what, you, what do you do in those things? You know, yeah. people get all and on the thing his is, if it was today, it wouldn't be. Yeah, no one cares, dude. Freaking Louis C.K. He wouldn't be in a porno theater because they don't exist anymore. Yeah, yeah. But I was like, who gives a shit? He's just jerking off. But uh, it's funny, like you're trying to I'm trying to think of like other people that, you know, created a character and became the character like like he he was just Pee Wee, like, he, right. you know, always. The only other thing person I could think of is like uh, Andrew Dice Clay, like he became Dice. Right. You know? Right. Yeah. But mm-hmm. the thing is, the Pee Wee character, like character never got annoying. Right. Yeah. It, it always well, seemed well, it was like it was fun it was and, delightful. Yeah. Right. Pee Wee was always delightful. Yeah. I do you have, do you have access? access? What? Do you have uh what was that called? You, I didn't. I'm in Texas. The stars are big and bright. <laughs> deep, deep in the heart. Deep in the Texas. Texas. <laughs> Where are you calling from, Peter? Trying to get to I'm the in basement Texas. in the Alamo. Yeah. I mean uh, there's no basement in the Alamo. <laughs> silly. There's no base with me. That whole movie can have been solved by Google. When he's yeah. in the magic shop and he puts on yeah. the big ear and just goes, Yeah, what? the magic what? shop was funny. What? 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 <laughs> or when he pulls out his Something bike chain and just guy. keeps coming. It's like, it's like, yeah. There's, there, okay, there, I don't know if you guys have seen this. You literally just cracked my brain. There's a, a version <laughs> of Pee Wee's Big Adventure and it's like an extra wide cut where you see all the movie the magic. You see the chain. Yeah. You see when he's in the car and you see like all the signs passing are on like tracks. Oh, no yeah. kidding. Yeah. Well, you the see chain, the, like, oh. yeah, the, the chain, chain coming out, it's a hole in the bottom. And you just see him pulling yeah. right through it. I don't know if it's a movie mistake or if it's like a wider cut. Well, the, well it's, it's, probably, movie it's mistake. probably an edit, a TV edit because yeah. they, they probably they, they zoom in. Yeah, exactly. But when you see the movie, it's, it's out. And then like the scene yeah. where he's driving with that guy who's like a murderer who's driving yeah. the car. He's like, I, I'm a bad guy, Pee Wee. <laughs> and yeah. it's at <laughs> night and you see the signs, but the signs are on just, you know, railroad tracks and they're just, they're <laughs> being pulled by a pole. Oh, right. So right. They're not moving. moving now, right? oh, I, yeah. I used to do that dude, the criminal dude all the time. <laughs> Great. So far, Pee Wee. Great. Action oh, packed. <laughs> yeah. yeah, at the end of the movie where everybody comes and sees him in his one role, he's dubbed over. Yeah. Yeah. Paging Mr. Herman. Paging, Paging Mr. Mr. Herman. Herman. You have a telephone okay, call at the front, front desk. desk. <laughs> and him and him uh, state like moving <laughs> in the camera frame. Yeah, yeah he's in like the in the camera. <laughs> And and breaking the fourth wall, <laughs> yeah. Just uh, yeah, he looks at the yeah, he looks dude. at the camera. Or he looks at the camera twice. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> large Marge scared the shit out of me when I was oh, a yeah. kid. Large Marge. Yeah. Tell the Large so Marge cool. sent ya. <laughs> how when did that movie uh, come out? I was trying to figure out how old I was when that came out. I was saving this to eighty-eight. You guys, you guys hate it when I talk behind the scenes. <laughs> I was on that set. 88 was big top <laughs> peewee i was a guy uh, pushing Pee-wee's those big signs. adventure was 85 wow 85. jim do you still have he was in, big he adventure? was in, he was in meatballs part two. Oh, <laughs> it was, he was also terrible, in the tilda terrible movie yeah like, big top peewee was filmed at my high school oh no oh, that's shit cool. probably that's cool. on the weekends or something i didn't see peewee or anything but i saw the greatest graffiti i've ever seen which was where where it was filmed was the stage that's in the movie, right? It's also it's also the building where my band play uh, practice and stuff, right? Uh-huh. So I wouldn't take I wouldn't took a leak, and someone or I wish it was Paul Rubens wrote in black Sharpie, Pee Wee went pee pee here. <laughs> <laughs> that's cool. Uh, that's funny. Did you? Okay, he, he was in an episode of Mark and Mindy. Wow. <laughs> he, wow. If he, it wasn't him that wrote that, it was someone really funny. He was on Dude, Sesame Street. That girl Street. from that movie was so pretty. She had such pretty eyes. He did uh, a Pee Wee's Playhouse Christmas special. He was on a Murphy Brown. He was in uh, uh, Ali McBeal. He was in a, 
episode of Reno 911. 30 Rock. What? <laughs> was he in 30 Rock? He was in an episode of 30 Rock. Okay. Uh, uh, Pushing Daisies. Batman the Brave and Bold. That was animated. Uh, right. He was on uh, WWE. Oh, wow. Uh, WWE <laughs> Raw. Uh, Tron Uprising. He did a voice. That oh, okay. was the an- animated version of Tron. Uh, animated sequel of Tron. He was a uh, voice in Star Wars Rebels. Uh, wow. He was uh, in Portlandia. He was in The Blacklist. Mm. He was in Gotham. He was in Voltron. Oh. Legendary Defender. All right. Incredible. I feel like wow. there were rumors that he was going to do another movie with Tim Burton. That would have been great. Yeah. Right, I know they're doing. I know he's doing doing another Beetlejuice, but he, I think he, he was, was in Cheech and Chong, uh, Cheech and Chong movie, Cheech and oh, Chong's funny. next oh, movie. Def- he was wow. in the he, Blues Brothers. He, he was the waiter. Yep, that's he right. Was, right. Was, was <laughs> wrong glass, sir. Yeah, that's right. I feel like, <laughs> oh man, I forgot all about that. Wow, yes. I love the Blues Brothers. Do you hear about Beetlejuice too? They stole some something from set. It was like a, like one of those. Uh, those horrible sculptures from the first movie that looks like a Christmas tree. Somebody stole it from the set of the second movie. Oh yeah. Well, that's not right. They should... It's that like, doesn't belong to them. It's like sixty five thousand dollars statue or some shit that they. Stole. Oh wow! Wow. <laughs> one of a kind. The, the Catherine O'Hara statue. Yeah, you know, like one of her fucking sculptures that she made from the first movie. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They brought them back for this one because they're in the same house. All oh, right, right. And this is my stole art. it. And it is dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. So we uh, we lost a legend, a legend. I see. Yeah, yeah, bummer. Yeah, absolutely. I do want to watch. I think I want to watch Pee Wee either tonight or tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow since it's already nine o'clock. But yeah, wonder where, wonder where it's streaming right now because you know it's I'm sure you can find it. Yeah, I'm it's sure probably all over right now. Streaming. Well, I'm glad we're all on the same page with that, dude. Yeah, he yep, was, he was yep. amazing. We, so. we all love Pee Wee. Well, cool. That's episode blah, blah, blah. Four and change, right? Yeah. When we get near 450, yeah. I'll let you know. Okay. There you go. <laughs> Something like 429-ish. Yeah yeah. yeah. yeah, we'll have a big show. Destroy our movies. We <laughs> found at damshow.co, D-A-M-S-H-O-W.co. If you want to contact us, you can send an email to Richie's favorite email address. Destroymail at gmail.com. Once again, that's destroymail at gmail.com. All right. Well, until, show, guys. until next week. All right. That's uh, Destroy Mail Movies. I'm Richie. I'm Jim. Carl. <laughs> I'm Ray. Oh, my God. What is that a new book? Okay. That was that was Pee Wee. Oh, I'm gonna was, get more hate mail now. I'm like that. That was more. <laughs> that was more crusty the clown, but crusty. Good night, damnation. Or-